you're here to learn about invoicing. That is awesome because that means that you have had some jewelry sales and you need to collect some money. All right, let's get started. I'm Mandy with Sugar Bee Bling and I love to help you learn little tips and tricks for your business. Today I'm going to talk about invoicing with PayPal. PayPal is what we use and I love it for several reasons. First of all, it automatically pulls in an address for a label. You can print labels right from PayPal. Also, most people use it and accept it and have heard of PayPal. Also, when you print your labels from PayPal, you get a discount. You save money printing labels at home versus walking into the post office. Before we dive into invoicing, I want to talk about setting up an invoice template. I love having a template. First of all, it's branded because I have a logo on it and so people see it and instantly know that the invoice is coming from Sugar Bee Blink. I also love it because you can pre-assign things like a tax rate and so then you just plug in how many items you sold and it figures everything out. Once you have a template set up, it automatically starts that way whenever you go to invoice. So it's set and ready to go. So let me walk you through how to set up your template. Okay, so up here at the top when you are in your PayPal dashboard, there is a button that says pay and get paid. When you open this, it will have drop downs and one of the columns is invoicing. Go ahead and click create and manage invoices. From here, at the bottom of the screen, it will list all the invoices that you've already sent, but to create a new one, you will click the button that says Create Invoice. Once you click Create Invoice, it will pull up your invoice template. I already have one set, so I wanted to walk you through it. As you can see, I've got a couple of line items here. For example, jewelry items. I've got the price preset. I've got the sales tax pre-typed in right here and it's all ready to go. I've got the note put in there. You can add terms and conditions. And I even have a logo set so that appears at the top of the invoice when it is sent to my customer. I like having an invoice template because it makes it super easy. If I were ready to send a template and someone bought four things, I would type the number four. It automatically calculates with the sales tax and gives them a total. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I set up my template? Well, up here where it says my templates, click that down arrow and it looks like it's stuck, but go ahead and scroll and you'll see the option to create a new template. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so then you can add a company logo if you have something that you would like to put in. Once you have your logo, you can update other things on the template that you always want to be set. So go ahead and create a line item. I like to say for jewelry items, but you could do a line item for necklaces. Their price is $5. And then set your tax rate, and you will find your tax rate dependent on where you live. And then maybe your next line item is rings. They're also $5 and the same tax rate. And then you have earrings in the same manner. You could also set Starlet Shimmer. It's going to be $1. Let's just type it in with the same tax rate. You can set a note that will appear every time. You can include your terms and conditions. Also, when making your template, I like to keep my quantities at zero. So that when I go to send an invoice and say someone only has necklaces, I don't want to accidentally send them an invoice that has earrings or rings on it. So on the template, I keep these set to zero. If your shipping is the same every time, you can go ahead and set that as well and include that as part of your template. Once you have everything done, you can click Save Template. Now, when you go to create an invoice, as long as you set that to be your default template, when you open up to create an invoice, everything is listed and ready, just as you had it set on your template. Then you are ready to roll. So that wasn't too hard to have your template set up, and now it's ready to roll. Let's talk about sending an invoice. 
To be able to send an invoice, you will need your customer's email address. So when they are claiming pieces on your sales, be sure to message them and say, hey, I'm so excited to get your goodies to you. Can you let me know your email address so that I can send you your invoice? Most people won't realize that they need to send you their email address, so you'll just need to ask for it. And then once you have their email address, it's as simple as filling out your template and hitting send. Fill out the template. You are going to put their email address here in the bill to line, and then you will fill out the template according to how many pieces they bought. Maybe they bought two necklaces, zero rings, four pairs of earrings, and then that will automatically total everything right there for you, and you can just hit send. So now that you've sent your invoice and it's been paid, you'll need to print a shipping label. You can do that inside of PayPal so easily. Let me show you how to do that. If you don't have a label printer, it's okay. You can print on paper and tape it onto your package, or you can print on label sheets that you run through a regular printer. I stepped my business up over time, and now I have a specific printer that prints labels, and I love it, but you don't have to start at that point. Now that someone has paid their invoice, you can ship their item directly through PayPal. Scroll to the bottom of the invoicing section in PayPal and you will see this box that says you have orders ready to ship. And go ahead and click on view all items ready to ship. See a list of your completed invoices. You can see transaction type up here is set to ready to ship. You can also sort that by other things. But when it is set to ready to ship, you will see that you can click over here, print shipping label. Each one of these is a paid invoice. So each invoice has its own print shipping label button that you can click. Once you click print shipping label, it will pull that invoice up. It will have your return address and the customer's address. I have these blacked out is why you can't see them. And then you will just need to set your shipping information. For service type, as long as it weighs under one pound, you are going to pick first class mail. That is going to give you a good discount. Then you will type in how much your package weighs. And after you have that in, you'll be able to calculate your shipping cost. Once you see your shipping cost come up and you feel like that should be correct, you click confirm and pay. And at that point, it will show the shipping label on your screen and then you hit print. And then one other question that a lot of people have is, how do I print a label through PayPal if the person did not pay through PayPal? For example, you might have a family friend that prefers to pay you through Venmo, but you still want to be able to get your discount on shipping and print that label through PayPal. There's definitely a way to do that. To create an invoice for someone who did not pay with PayPal, go to PayPal ship now. PayPal.com ship now. This one right here. One. Once you go to paypal.com backslash ship now, it will pull up this box here where you can fill in your customer's name and address and ship directly to that address using your discount through PayPal. That's all there is to it. Was it easier than you thought? Once you have it set up, sending invoices is a breeze. Once your sales grow, you can bulk invoice. So we have a spreadsheet and we keep track each week of how many items people buy. Then you can group together all the people that buy three items, copy their email addresses from your spreadsheet and put them in all together and invoice for three items and hit send. And it will invoice all of those people at once. When we bulk invoice, we just have one line item called jewelry items to keep things simplified. And then you'll click this bill multiple customers button. And then you can paste in several email addresses all at once into the same line. Once you do that, and maybe all of those customers bought three items each, then you can go ahead and hit send and it will send the invoice to everyone at once. There are lots of other ways to collect money or invoice. We use PayPal, so that's the one that I can speak to. But if you use something else, that's great too. Make it work for you. You're amazing. Grow that business. When you're invoicing, it means that you're selling those pieces. Way to go. And if you're looking for other tips and tricks in your paparazzi business, be sure to check out my other videos. I have lots of topics that I have covered. Share it with your friends. I love to get the info out there. And remember, I'm Mandy with Sugar Bee Bling. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. <laughs>